Live from northern Japan, this is, is S-Log S -Log with Neil Hartman. Neil Hartman. Snow culture from northern Japan. I'm your host, Neil. Today, I'm reviewing the brand new... It is February the 2020... Uh, I don't even know what day it is. It's March the 1st! It's a new month! February is gone! We still got great snow, good powder, still arriving here in Hokkaido. Fabulous winter season. Today, I am on my way to... Passing through the village of Kimobetsu right now. The mountain Shiribetsudake shrouded in clouds today. The weather is not so great, but hopefully it's gonna be nicer where I'm going. Now passing through Kyogoku, another small town on the way to today's destination. Similar to the last town, a lot of snow, small little shops. Okay, I just stopped on the side of the road here just to get a sort of sense of the land and the, the view. This is the Kuchan area of Hokkaido. We've got a great view of Mount Yote, although today it's in the clouds, it's kind of gray. But you can see it's mostly farmland, a lot of natural rivers, beautiful scenes here. Maybe 30 more minutes of driving time. Let's get back in the car. Cruising through Kuchan, this is the economic powerhouse of the greater Niseko area. The word Niseko, the name Niseko and the town Niseko is more famous around the world, but it's a very small town. The actual centerpiece or the, the economic power lies in the town of Kuchan. Population about 20,000. It's a farming town. It's a military town for the self-defense force as well. Uh, this is, you know, larger government, more economic power here. But obviously the name Niseko has become the brand that represents the area. Right now you're watching S Vlogs only on YouTube featuring Neil Hartman and friends keep it locked. Okay, I uh, I have arrived. Okay. Brought out the big boy today. The cloud liner by Genten Stick. This is the biggest board I have. Not that it's really gonna be super deep today but I thought it would be fun to cruise around on the most luxurious snowboard I have at the most luxurious resort. Welcome to Niseko Hanazono. So Hanazono has been around for a long, long time, but over the last uh, few years, it has been renewed in an incredible way. You got the Park Hyatt up there, really high-end hotel, great restaurants. They've built a new gondola and a new six-man lift. And basically, today I want to just get to know the new Hanazono. I have not ridden the gondola or the new lift. I have not checked out their new base station. The old base station is here. This is now uh, sickle, rental, retail, ticket sales, rental shop, indoor kids activities. Station is way over there. Okay. Let's uh, go get a lift ticket. Ring the bell. I said I was gonna ring the bell. We're entering spring here in Hokkaido, and usually this is the time of year when the tourists sort of start to go home. Uh, but this year, there's been no tourists to start with, so it's quite empty. I do feel really bad for these resorts who have spent so much money and so much time renovating and making everything look good for the visitors. And now we have no visitors. But hopefully that'll all change and next season we'll be back to sort of a new normal with more people visiting the Niseko area. Wow. This is wild. I got a brand new Palma Sigma Cable Line Symphony Cabin. All to myself. I see we have a midway station where you can decide to get off or stay on. Drop. Hi, We will be right back after this small, 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 small commercial break. Stay tuned.
You got a brand new gondola that fits 10 people with a really high-end hotel at the base, great food, bar, etc. And this course is where the Hanazono Snow Park is. You got lots of boxes and rails and jumps and it's right from the top all the way to the bottom. They got items to hit. Definitely well designed. So if you're a family with kids who want to ride some park and maybe get into the trees a little, you know, you can traverse into the trees and get some powder as well. This is like the optimum setup. You've got your room with a view of the course. You've got great food and drink options. And the family can get in this nice, beautiful gondola and do laps on the park all day long. I like it, okay? My first impression, the gondola is beautiful. It's brand new. You've got this amazing view out those big windows. It's smooth, it's quiet. You got that mid station if you want to get off early. The wood paneling and the construction is really nice. I think the real key feature that should be commended on the design side is that they built the storage house for the gondolas at the top. So at night when they put all the gondolas away, it's way up here where no one can see it. And when you're looking out your five-star hotel window, you don't see some ugly building that's just there to house the gondolas. I think that's a real key design point that was well thought out and executed. Well, I feel like a real, uh, I feel like a real snob today. I'm just out here reviewing gondolas. Sort of like a, a sommelier for the snow. Maybe I should call myself Snowmobile. Yes, there's a new job. I am a Snowmobile. Let's uh, let's go check out the snow. Right now, you're watching Neil Hartman deep in the snow. Okay, so to better help you understand where we are today, I brought along my little Niseko map. That is Annupuri, the peak of Niseko. You have Niseko Annupuri Resort way over here on the left. Niseko Village sort of in the middle. Grand Hirafu right here, which is what most people think about when they think Niseko. And then Hanazono is this section way over here on the far right. This map is a little old, so it doesn't show the new gondola or lift. I believe it's going somewhere like, uh, like this. Someone's just like, just holding my ass with a warm hand. It's so nice. Hey, how you doing over there? Just switched over to the new six person lift. Wow. Also made by Poma. Another beautiful piece of design and engineering here. Really nice leather seats. And as I said, you can feel the heat on your ass. Ah, it's nice, because my ass was kind of cold there, actually. I was getting cold ass. Now I've got warm ass. How many times can I say ass in one video? 
Japan had its huge skiing boom back in the, uh, the 80s, I guess, during the economic bubble. Everybody had money, they were out partying, they were going to ski resorts, so a lot of development was done at that time. I think at the time there were like 700 ski resorts across Japan. I'm sure that number is way down now. A lot of them have gone out of business. And a lot of the resorts are left with old lifts, pair lifts, there's a lot of single lifts, um, and eventually they get too old and they can't run them anymore. Well, my ass is cold again. There ain't no heating on this one. Not even a bubble. At least I have a safety bar. That's kind of a bummer. Luxurious six man heated chairlift to the open ass cooling four person chairlift. Seiko United is a group of resorts. They're separate companies. You have Hanazono, Hirafu, Niseko Village, and Niseko Anupuri. But you can buy one lift ticket that gives you access to all those mountains. Great for the consumer. How do they split up the money at the end of the day? Well, first, it depends on where you buy your ticket. So if you bought your ticket at Hanazono, they get a larger percentage of that ticket share. Then it goes to the actual lift count. So every time you get on a lift, that gives you like, let's say one point at the end of the day, it's a point system. If you put in more points at Hanazono, then Hanazono gets a larger share of the ticket money and they divvy it up. So that's how it works. And that creates the incentive to make a better resort, put in nicer lifts with heated chairs that you'll want to ride on more. And hopefully you will stay at their resort. Okay, we're out of the G5 gate. Maybe kind of meander down through those trees. Then I was thinking to get up on that ridge, kind of surf style that ridge all the way down and come back out on the course. Unorthodox line. I've never done that one before. This is a bit of a traverse, but it's like having that backside lip all the way down the ridge. That was kind of fun. Thanks to the cloud liner, a lot of interesting things you can do on a big board like this. This time I'm gonna go down the, the front side wall. Looks really nice in the trees, some snow there, kind of a surf style. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I gotta stop to tell you a story. Back in the day, there were no gates here in Niseko. It was all illegal to ride in the trees. It was all roped off. Basically had a, a lift station right where that new one is now. And it was roped off. So to come in here and ride the legendary strawberry fields, as it's known, you would basically have to come on like really stormy days when the visibility was so bad that the patrol couldn't really see us. And we would duck the rope and just scoot in here, this little flat spot. We'd try to get past it and into the trees as quick as possible so that we wouldn't get spotted. And then you would ride through the pillows, it was great. And again, same thing, you had to be really careful when you came out on the course. You had to duck another rope to get back out. And you wanted to like, you know, scout, make sure there was no patrol around. It was a pain in the ass. So, I really appreciate the fact that we have a heated lift and a gate that's open until 2.30 p.m. and allows you to access all this great terrain. Things have changed for the better. Yeah, you can see those big glide cracks right there. That's what you want to really watch out for this time of year. Oh man, good memories. Good memories shooting on all these pillows here. Ooh. Cafe and bar, very nice, big open space, nice sort of cafeteria. It wasn't as expensive as I thought it was gonna be, and lunch was quite good. I went with the curry, a deep fried pork cutlet on top of nice fluffy white rice with a really delicious, tiny bit spicy curry sauce. Mm. Did that sound good? Um, you can't go wrong in Japan with the katsukai. That's what it's called, katsukai. So if you come to Japan, you go to a ski resort, you're hungry for something, you don't know what to get, just go with the katsukai. This is Neil Hartman's S-Log. It's all about the about snow. 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 Had to get a really nice flat white at the Hanawan Cafe. They've been here for a long, long time. Used to be a prefab container over there by the old lift. Now right here at the edge of the edge at the edge of the edge did i just say that that sounded weird mm. very good coffee could someone please teach me how to play this thing i have no idea you're watching S Vlogs only on YouTube. 